Okay, welcome back to part five of our tutorial. We're going to be looking in uh, Photoshop now, doing our color corrections, our sky replacement, our fog and uh, ocean change as well, all in hopefully uh, what will be a short time. So skipping over to uh, Photoshop, here is our image. Uh, I've got my fog in there already, which I'll be showing you uh, just briefly how to do that. Uh, I've got my sky ready behind it in the uh, change of water as well. Um, don't worry about the uh, gap in the top right here. Uh, that is because I decided to re-render my city, so I decided to just render the city itself. Um, make sure one thing I forgot to mention was make sure you render the image uh, without the water plane through here uh, and then with it because for instance, that's with the water plane and that's without, and we're going to need uh, both of those, one for replacing the water and then one for um, the sky replacement. So uh, first things first, in order to get this fog thing, I want to show you. I've done a quick little render here, no uh, no trees or anything. Just This is just to show you simply uh, how to get it across. Um, just check your image size. So this one's 1600 by 2844. And I'm going to match match the two. So really, in the best circumstances, you shouldn't have to resize it up. Uh, I've just done this to save us time. And I'll copy that across. And if you, if you save out the render with the black area, and I'll show you in view, uh, in your render dialog, click Save get your save as option and you untick this box here and that will uh, save it with your black area. So by having that black area we can then uh, we can then extract it and uh, let's just try use a quick selection, no not quick selection magic wand, delete that, all that and we go like this and what we want to do is just erase out anything that we're not going to use. Probably better actually to use a mask tool. So I'll skip from that. And on the layer, come down to the bottom and click on the mask. It'll add a mask. You can then flip between the selection. And you want to use a brush on here. And you're painting in black. As you can see, you've got your little preview there. Uh, it's got a little black area on that. Um, on that mask. So what we want to do, press X to invert your paint, paint that back in, and we want to just paint out this area. Obviously this is totally wrong because I haven't got any of the plants on there, but just showing you exactly how how I did it. So I've, I've painted back anywhere where there's a sun sunlight, I've painted it out because I didn't want uh, the fog to to appear in those areas. So let's just make this bigger. So, so all across there, down here on the edges, and then come down, get rid of that, and also decrease the opacity of it. I mean, there you can already see that that's a that's a fog layer, and then you can use your adjustments and come into hue and saturation. We want to actually for this one let's use um, let's try channel channel mixer for this and create a clipping mask to clip it to just that image and we'll just move our blues down a little bit and probably um, Color balance is actually the one that I was looking for. This allows us to give us a bias if we want cyan or red, more cyan or more red. So that's typically what I want. I want to make it a cooler blue color rather than and the green magenta. I don't don't really need to change. So that's with it with the adjustment. That's without. So it's just cooling down that image a lot more. And as I was saying before, if I paint that out, it uh, looks really horrible. So what I tend to do 
is use uh, using the alpha to and just leave the uh, mountains untouched so that they they have actually the mountains from the foggy render rather than doing something like that where you get uh, where it really starts to stand out uh, if I turn that on and off. Um, actually, there we go. That's that's what I was intending to do. Okay, so let's uh, get rid of. I'm just going to get rid of that uh, fog layer, and this is my my other fog layer. So you can actually see that subtle change in uh, this area here. Just watch where the base of the mountains are as I flick it on and off. You see a slight change in that lighting. Uh, it even occurs up here. Uh, there's a change in the lighting. And that's because I've used the fog image instead of our original image. So we've restricted our fog through there. Another thing actually I'll just mention is the is getting rid of the fog in the higher areas so things like uh, you just make it a lot smaller make sure your brush is not hard at all turn on uh, your airbrush turn down the flow and brush through on things like there uh, it's probably too much flow we'll even turn down the opacity so come through areas like that any high points you want to expose essentially because it's all about giving that feeling that that something is is inside the valley and, and not just all over it like if you were to apply a um, just a, a washy filter over that area you want to sort of make the make someone feel like you've actually placed fog in there like it's actually cold and not just a cold overlay. So it's a subtle effect. Okay, so with our sky, uh, I've brought in just a uh, plain image of my city and I've adjusted it. It's actually a little bit bigger than what you see. Uh, it goes all the way to the right there. So I could use that and all the way to the left. But based on our direction of our lighting. Uh, this is it could probably move a little bit further to the left uh, because in our image we have the lighting coming uh, really quite quite sharply. If you follow the the shadows, like from that peak or that peak there, you know it's coming. There's there's our shadow through there, and all these shadows are coming this way. So our light source is somewhere way over to the left. So by adding in the sky, uh, we'll drag that up above. And uh, first of all, I've uh, to add add in this. Uh, hang on, I'll turn on the sky off the sky. What we want to do is use a layer mask on this part of our sky to remove it from uh, the the lower portion of our image. So in your channels option, you've got your different masks here. I've got several because I've copied uh, different ones in at different times. And the one we want to use for uh, this for the moment is this mask here, the, the entire terrain plus the city. So if you press control click, it'll select that, uh, that mask and then you come back to or then select RGB to turn all your color layers on. Come back to your image, and in if I just I'll just add a new layer to show you the effect. And in that layer, press Control Backspace or Alt Backspace to fill it with white or black, depending on uh, w what you find. Now, if you find that it's not working for that uh, for the right area, you want to press Control Shift I, and then you can press uh, that that essentially control shift I will invert your selection but um, so I've got it here I've got when it's enabled you can see that uh, our sky is completely gone 
Now when we take bring our sky in, we have the sky behind our image. Now we've got things like uh, like this part through here, which is uh, uh, which is al almost glowing um, just across there, but that's not going to be an issue because they're going to remove the sky from that bottom portion. So selecting the sky, we'll do the same thing. Go into channels, going to select this one here. Control click, come back to RGB, come back, and you can see the selection line through there, and that's pretty much exactly what uh, we want to to have. I'm going to add the uh, the mask and automatically it fills it fills it based on our selection but we don't want uh, that exactly so press control Z control shift I to invert add the selection bang it's done now we don't want such a harsh edge but for now that'll be fine we can come back later and, f and uh, fiddle with that next thing we want to do is we've got the fog turn that back on is add in your water same process uh, as as we did for the fog, but you can see now now you can really start to see that uh, the water that I've rendered is a hell of a lot different to um, the lighting in the whole scene, and it doesn't mesh with our um, our clouds. So neither do the clouds actually mesh with our our terrain. So we'll add some uh, adjustment layers for that. Let's go with hue and saturation, and drag it down to the bottom probably good to make a clipping mask just to practice and we'll darken that desaturate a little bit and change the hue to a darker uh, like more of a blue rather than a greeny uh, aqua so let's see if we can darken it some more uh, now uh, that's that's not too bad. Uh, we can come into ang uh, the levels as well and fiddle around with them too. Uh, generally, you've got to use a couple of different things to get the your color corrections exactly right. But and that's probably a little a little bit too dark around the right hand side. So let's go clipping mask for that. Let's go brighten that up. Again, saturation down. And that's looking pretty good for now. Now the, the next thing we want to do is our sky. Select the sky. Let's go, uh, let's go with color, uh, color balance again. Create the clipping mask. And we just drag these values. We want to match up the, the blues. So actually my blue and my water is not quite right. So it's a little bit too uh, not aqua enough. Okay, back to the color balance in the clouds, and they're actually pretty, pretty close. We want to do a hue, not a hue saturation. Let's do a brightness contrast on. Okay, so we want a little bit. Let's say brighter for this. What I'm actually trying to do is match up and fade out the horizon right there. Um, and as you can see, the, the, the darker it gets, the, the more prominent the line gets. So we want to get almost no... Because the light is coming from there, we're going to get almost no horizon over there. But we don't want to end up with such a defined horizon over, the, over on the other side. So if we decrease the contrast, that should do that for us but it's also going to lose us all that clarity in the in the clouds so we're not actually let's not let's avoid doing that now generally th th I mean you can go with a lighter a brighter sky or a darker sky and it's actually going to look uh, pretty good around the board uh, it'll just give you a, a different feel of whether what time of the day it is Okay, I'm going to add an exposure as well to see exactly how the exposure will affect it. That's better. 
the exposure should blow out these uh, values on the left, so that's what I wanted. Okay, now the last thing we want to do, uh, aside from general color corrections, which I won't go into because uh, it can be very um, personal, what uh, what we want to do is fade out the between the sky and and our ocean. So if we come to our um, our sky mask, you can use a blur filter, or you can just come in and blur the two. Although that's not going to quite work. What what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to load up our mask that we used before, and I'm just going to check that's affecting the top portion. So let's go and then we go to refine edge or you can go into modify smooth and let's smooth it by five pixels. So it's going to, f to uh, feather out actually no it's not going to feather it out. What we, what we really wanted was selection modify feather sorry and five pixels so that'll feather out the effect come to our sky and leave by doing that if I there we go so you can really see on the right here that uh, our line between the two has actually been blurred actually there's a perfect example for for you you've got the uh, softness there if I turn off the the others same so yeah there's the softness instead of being a a hard edge okay so there's all our uh, color corrections done you can go to uh, the moon and back on that you can take it into after effects do some uh, film effects on it as well do a, a glow on the city if you want or get some uh, lens flares going from the left uh, you know play with it to your heart's content if you want so um, I hope you've uh, I hope you've uh, at least learnt uh, a little bit from this tutorial it's gone a hell of a lot longer than uh, than I originally intended uh, but uh, yeah it's it, it's a, it was a big job, uh, I'll tell you that, and uh, it's hopefully um, at least shed some light on that. And the the basic map painting techniques and are just a little uh, bonus on the on the side. So um, thanks, and uh, see you next time.